Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem Rakakadash. That's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai, being the name of the only begotten Son. I also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the hopeful light preaching this word in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother Tazaban of Great Millstone, Arizona Camp, Lord Will. With another video to edify and um i wanted to go in on this uh topic you know because essentially you know there's more and more information that co that's coming out where you know those that were even within the body of a great millstone right are basically denying the lord changing up the doctrine completely right they're not sticking to the teachings or anything and they're bringing in more and more damnable heresies or or they're just straight out you know like i said denying the lord and it's it's, it's this is this is scriptural man and it and it should put uh you know a level of humility a level of fear in our hearts man because at any time you know the scriptures talk about how we might be saved right you can do all these things of the Lord, but if, if the Lord didn't choose you to get the salvation, right, you're not going to get that salvation. So there has to be some humility in this thing. And you look at the grand scheme of it, uh, you know, it just came out, you know, it's been, you know, news is going around where apparently the, you know, the, the dude from Nazariah Nazari from the ITR basically sat there and and and, and, and is and de denouncing you how shy right now if these if the, if, you know if that's true you know i haven't been able to see the video you know, to, uh, to confirm it myself but these these are the things that have been floating around even a dude that was a, a head of our camp at one point supposedly saying that he the, you know the new covenant has already uh been established right and these things are sentiments out there, bro. You know, men not giving reverence to those who brought them up in this thing, taught them everything they know. Now they're, they're talking shit on them. Right? Let alone they have nothing to say about their character because they, they've done them right. But now they're sitting there just scoffing. Right? There's a difference between saying something that's true and scoffing, right? We're walking blameless, though. But essentially, th these things are happening because the scriptures talk about it. So this is Matthew 25 and 28. It says, take, therefore, the talent from him and give it unto him which had ten talents. It says, for, and, and that's what you're seeing right now, the talents that have been given out. To these men that once were believers, once actually thought, you know, and, 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 and submitted themselves unto the knowledge of the Lord. Now what? They're, they're scoffing. They're, they're casting away those pearls. So what? The Lord is saying, you know what? Take from him and give it to these men. And this is, this is why you see more and more videos coming up, you know, out of the brothers of Great Millstone and the brothers in like mine just popping up. Because what? The talents are being redistributed to those that already have the true faith, those that already believe, right? Like the scriptures tell you, hold that fast and I'm going to get it, which thou hast. To those that actually done those things, more talents are being laid upon them, right? It says, verse 29, it says, for everyone, for unto everyone that hath shall be given, right? And he shall have abundance. But from him that hath not shall be taken away even that he had. So the ones that have not, right? These are the men that forgot really the core of this thing. Right? There's a humility. There's 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 a supplication to Yahweh Shai. There's a service to great men. The scriptures talk about. Let me see. Let me get this. This is uh, Ecclesiastes um, 
yeah, Ecclesiastes 8 and 8, and I'll get to the one in 39 too. It says, despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with it, with their proverbs. For of them thou shalt learn instruction in how to serve great men. See, and, and now for some reason, when things are going, you know, you know, the prophecies are popping off. Right? Normal life is going haywire because the Lord is getting ready to cut this shit off. Now men are forgetting that they're, they're, they're set up to be servants, not to lord over people. Not to just sit here and act like the things are owed to them. We come into this thing, you better have a, a, a mindset of you're in fucking debt. But men are, it's, it's, it's beginning to be a show that men don't remember the debt. So what? They're going out here, doing all this, abusing, abusing the scriptures, scoffing, which is a form of abuse towards the brethren for the true believers. Right? And this, these things shouldn't be, man. The scriptures talk about what? These are, let me get this, man. I ain't got no scriptures prepared. I'm just rolling in the spirit. This is a, this is a John or Job 11 and 6. It says, and that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom that they, that they are double to that which is. It says, know therefore that the most high exacted of thee less than thine iniquity to deserve it. So if the Lord is giving you less than you deserve, you in debt. Right? Yahweh Shai, it's written that Yahweh Shai paid for our sins with his blood. You're in debt. But through pride and arrogancy, the lessons of the scriptures are slipping. And, and, and that's when his stuff starts going haywire. This is Job... Or not Job, but Hebrews 2 and 1 it says, Therefore, we ought to give more earnest heed to those things which we have heard, least at any time we should let them slip. And men are letting these things that we've learned slip. Order, humility, right? Understanding that the Lord puts men up for a certain reason. Now, if a man goes off and does these things, those things are revealed. Right? Those things are revealed. But to the men that have not gone off, show some fucking humility. Elders of elders and apostle apostle Tahar is supposed to be that dude uh 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 Sakari, his 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 elder, but what? This dude show no respect, spreading discord among the body through the apostles trying to. Hey, right? ITR. Same thing. You, 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 you. Well, at one point you was talking about your house shot. Now the New Testament ain't uh, uh, ain't valid. All right, changing up the doctrine, and these things show you that the Lord is taking away those talents and redistributing them to men that are worthy, that have hold to those things that have been uh, uh, good stewards over His house. Right. It says, um, this is Luke. You know what? No. Let me get this. This is Psalms 51. Or no, I'll I'll go to I'll go to uh Job first. Job one and twenty-one. It says, uh and he said, Naked came I out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return. Yahweh giveth, and Yahweh taketh away. Blessed be the name of Yahweh. See, the Lord gives and he takes away. The Lord sets one up, set, uh, puts one down and sets up another, man. The Lord is the one that gives the spirit out. And this is why it's so terrifying, man. This is why a, 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 a great deal of humility should be expressed in your walk. There's no room for pride. There's no room for lifting yourself up. There's no room for you trying to get your own self-glorification because these things choke out the spirit. And the Lord said, the meek, the lowly, 
shall inherit the earth. So you need to fit that criteria. We have to fit that criteria. This is Psalms 51, and this is why Psalms 51 was written. Right? Psalms 51. And one, it says, uh, uh, to the chief musician, the Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came unto him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, it says, have mercy upon me, O Yahweh, power, it says, according to thy loving kindness, according unto thy, the multitude of thy tender mercies, blot out my transgression, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sins, from my sin, for I acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me. See, this this is the mindset you're supposed to be in. Right? Jumping down to verse uh, 9. It says, Hide thy face from my sin and blot out my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O power, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. And that's a terrifying thing, man. But you doing this prayer, you having a mindset that you, you're, basically we all supposed to have a mindset of we're fuck, we're fuck ups. And we deserve death. Because that's really what it is. We're fuck ups and we deserve death. It's only through the Lord sending his son that we had even a, 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 an ability to come back to the Heavenly Father's name and his son's name. We didn't get that of ourselves. You know, we are in great debt. Now the Lord is shuffling, you know, shuffling his uh his goods among his servants now and redistributing to those who actually stay true to what he said. That's what you're seeing right now. And this is why, you know, the heat is turning up within a body of great millstone. More and more videos popping out. More and more, I'm telling, I'm, I'm talking about this. This brother's putting up, you know, three and four videos a day. That really, you should only do one or two, right? Because what the Lord's re redistributing those talents, giving them to those that have, man. Now I'm gonna get this. It says, uh. It's in the it's in Revelation. Yeah, here it is. Revelation 2 and 25. It says, But that which you have already, hold fast till I come. And that's that's the that's the whole sentiment, man. Hold fast to this, man. And how, how did you get this in the first place? Through the mercies of the Lord and through what? Humility and working. Stay occupied in the word. So stay occupied in the word, man. Hold fast. Keep your head down. Right? Keep your eyes on the prize. Right? Keep a humble mindset. You don't want to be the servant that the Lord takes his talent from. Because he wasn't <laughs> he wasn't being equitable with his talent. And you be cast out. You know? But just a quick video. And uh, Lord willing to have a fight. I'm going to say, call law. Yahweh Bashimel Shai Bashimel Kakadash. Shalom Akim.